In this video, we'll be going through the right hand push rule. This rule will allow us to determine the direction of the magnetic force acting on a charge or on a current carrying conductor in the magnetic field. Before we do that, let's first have a go and remind ourselves of the basics of the magnetic force on a charge or a wire. If you've done this, already, please skip to the timestamp on the screen here. When we have a charge entering into a magnetic field, then what happens is that this charge will begin to experience a magnetic force. If you want to know why there is a magnetic force, check out the video in the description below um, for further details. But in short, there will be this force. In a very analogous way, if we have the same magnetic field, and we simply, and but instead of having a magnetic field, and instead of having a charge, we actually have a wire, right? So let's say that we have a wire. You can imagine that this wire is simply composed, this, this, this wire of, with electricity is simply composed of uh, charges f uh, f moving along this, this wire. And because they're all moving along this wire, they should all also have this force. So whichever direction of force we can calculate for one charge, it should be the exact same for that of a current. Now that we understand the basics of how a magnetic force will act on a charge or act on a current moving inside a magnetic field, let's use our right hand to be able to predict exactly which direction that force will be in. This is the most complicated right hand rule because there are three components. Firstly, we have our four fingers. These represent the magnetic field. We have our thumb, which represents the direction of the current. And we have our palm. Now, let's understand this in a bit more detail. So our four fingers, these represent the magnetic field. And, you can, and the way that I remember this is because is because <laughs> is because the four fingers look like the magnetic fields. Often when we see magnetic fields, we see quite a number of them pointing in one direction. That's what these four remind me of. So these are my magnetic fields, my Bs. And all of these actually are. So in this case, I have a magnetic field pointing up the page. The second component is my thumb. I want to point my thumb in the direction of the current. So I can say that if, my, if I put my thumb towards the left, that must be because my, my current is pointing towards the left, right? So my, I point my thumb in the same direction, in the same direction that I point that, that the current is traveling in, okay? So you can see here, I'm pointing in the direction of the, of the magnetic field, I'm pointing at the top of the page, right? And because all the magnetic fields are, are going towards the top of the page. I'm pointing towards the right because the current is traveling towards the right. There's just one more, and that's your palm. Now this one's a little bit tricky. So the reason why we call it the right hand push rule is because the direction of force given that the magnetic field here is upwards and the, and the current is towards the right. The, the direction of the force is the direction that your palm would push. So for example, in this case, it would be up to the screen. In a different combination, like this, it'll be towards the right. We can visualize this with a force vector pointing like this, coming out of my palm, like so. like so.
Let's have a look at the first question. So for the first question, we can see that we have dots, which means that I should point my four fingers into my face. Because remember that dots mean coming out of the page and into your face. Now I need to position my thumb. Do I point it left or right or into the page or out of the page? I position my thumb to face towards the right, as is depicted by the positive charge moving right in the diagram. Now that I have that, I will now see which direction my palm faces. I can see that my palm faces downwards. If I was to push, I push downwards. So we can see here that the direction of the force in this case generated is downwards. Now, let's have a look at the second question. So in this case, we have our magnetic field pointed towards the right. So I'm going to point my four fingers towards the right. Now, I can also see that my electron is going to be moving upwards. I want to move my thumb to match the electron. And so we might say that in this case, we have a force into the page, right? We have a force into the page. If this was my page, you can see that therefore my force would be pushing into my page, into my page. There's one trick though, right? Because it's an electron moving upwards, as an electron moves upwards, there's less negativity at the bottom here, right? Because there's less electrons. That, mean, that must mean that this bottom bit here is going to become more positive. So that's interesting. If a proton was to be moving upwards, it gets more positive up here. That means that an electron moving upwards is the equivalent of a proton moving downwards because as an electron moves upwards, it gets more positive down here. So actually we should flip our thumb to point downwards. And so therefore we can see that at the bottom that it's going that actually the direction of force that we generate is actually into the page, uh, so out of the page, out of the page here. The force we generate is going to be out of the page. Remember that this is our page, right? So this is our page, so we push this way, you can see it's coming out of the page. Let's have a look at the last question. So we have uh, crosses, which means that I should point my fingers into the page. So this is my page, I'm going to point my fingers into the page, right? Now, I'm going to twist my thumb until it matches the direction of that electron. So I'm going to rotate my thumb until it matches it like that, like so. And now, remember that in the electron we have to flip the direction, so I'm going to flip it like this. Now, let's see which direction the force is in. So which direction is my palm going to face? It's going to face, it's going to face this way. I'm going to push this way. So the answer is this way. We offer physics, chemistry, and math tutoring. For more insightful explanations like this one, head to tutorgum.com.